Welcome to Health Connect Pro's Intake Processing Tutorial. This is a part of a series of tutorials of the integrated modules of Health Connect Pro. The intake process is part of the patient's module of Health Connect Pro. Patient intake is the process through which healthcare organizations collect demographic, social and clinical data, consent forms, insurance information, and other key pieces of information from new and returning patients. This may be the front door to your business. When your clinicians perform a start of care visit, they will come equipped with your patient's information and health status. It is often the patient's first interaction with your healthcare organization and it sets the tone for their encounter. This process plays a critical role in the operational, financial, and clinical success of your healthcare organization. According to research, the patient intake process in many healthcare organizations is plagued by manual, time-consuming tasks and redundant processes. HealthConnect Pro pushes for an efficient, easy to use and streamlined intake process for a better experience for both patient and the clinician. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add a patient into the HealthConnect Pro system, view or modify patient information, upload documents such as H&P, referral orders, consent forms, and more. You will begin by clicking on the Health Connect Pro icon on your desktop to launch Health Connect Pro. Log in using your pre-assigned credentials. Click on the patient icon to launch the patient's module. This is the patient's module of Health Connect Pro system. There is a separate tutorial on using and navigating this page. For today, we are showing you how to add a patient into the system. Click on the Add button at the bottom left of the screen to start. This opens the Patient Details page. This page consists of different parts that will complete the documentation of the intake process. Patient's personal information. Patient's address. Admission details case management and episode information, referral details, patient representative, patient emergency contact, and other intake process status information. We will begin by entering patient details. Type in the patient last name, first name, and middle initial if available. Enter patient's date of birth gender, the primary language used, or other language if not found on the drop-down options. Type in patient's social security number, Medicare number, or Medicaid number if available. Fill in patient address in this section. Specify service location code by selecting from the drop-down box. Whether services will be rendered in a patient's home or in an assisted living facility. Select the resident type from the drop-down. Type in a resident name for this location. Enter the address, city, state, and zip code. Enter the phone number for this location. In the admission section, select the name of your agency from the drop-down choices. Mark the appropriate checkbox if this patient is admitted or for a certification. Select the admission source, whether the patient is coming from a non-healthcare facility, a physician's clinic, transfer from a hospital, transfer from a skilled nursing facility, transfer from another home health care agency, or information not available. Is this admission an emergency, urgent, elective, or information not available? Indicate the date of facility discharge if applicable. The case management and episode section requires an updated admission status of the patient. 
Click on the drop-down in the status field to select appropriate admission status of the patient, whether patient is admitted, pending SOC, or a failed admission. Type in the SOC date if the patient is admitted. When the patient status is updated, a notification will be sent out to key persons in your team via text or email. Click yes or no to continue. Indicate episode number one for SOC and the correct episode number for recertification. Enter the start of the episode date and the end of episode date will automatically populate. Mark appropriate checkboxes if end of episode is finalized or if a patient is discharged from our service. Enter discharge date if applicable. Select admitting clinician from the drop-down choices. Select case manager assigned to this patient. Select the clinical manager, OASIS approver, and approver for other disciplines like OT, ST, or PT if applicable. Enter the primary physician of the patient. Click on the search icon to add a physician that is already in the system by typing the name and clicking on the search button. If the physician is not in the system, you may add the physician information by clicking on the Add button at the bottom of this window. This opens Physician Details window. Type in physician's information including first and last name, the NPI number, license number and expiration if available, address, phone number, fax and email address. Click Save button and close to go back to the previous screen. Select the physician. Click the Select button to close the screen. Mark Primary Physician Confirm checkbox if you have confirmed that this is the primary doctor of the patient. Select the primary insurance of the patient by clicking on the search icon. Select from the list of insurances available. Click the Select button at the bottom of the screen to save and close. Provide secondary and tertiary insurance using the same process if applicable. Type in pharmacy ID if patient have provided a preferred pharmacy. The next section is the referral section. Here, we will provide the referral date and external referral source and contact information if applicable. To add an external referral source, click on the search icon. Choose from the marketer drop-down on the right side, then select the referral site from the list. The representative section information requires patient representative details, including first and last name, address, phone number, and relationship to the patient. Type in information in this section. Mark this checkbox if representative is legally authorized. Emergency contact for this patient is also required as part of the intake process. Mark the same as representative if emergency contact is also the representative. Otherwise, type in the information of the emergency contact of the patient as provided in the referral documents you received. This next section confirms completion of the intake process. Check the boxes appropriately. Confirm if the following are completed. Eligibility, consent forms, H&P documentation, face-to-face -face documentation, export to software, archived or deleted. Click Save button to save all patient information and close to go back to main page or patient list. A pop-up notification will confirm if you wish to inform Central Intake and other key persons in your team about the status update. Click Yes or No. To view or modify an existing patient, select Patient from the list or type the first or last name of the patient you wish to modify and click the Search button. Select the patient and click the Details button. 
Type in any changes you wish to make, like for example, updating patient status to admitted. A pop-up notification will confirm if you wish to inform central intake and other key persons in your team about the status update. Click yes or no. Click the save and close button to go back to the main page. Uploading documents. To upload patient-related documents, select the patient name from the list. Click Details to open Patient Details. Click on the Upload Documents button. This opens the Uploaded Documents window. Click on Upload File and select the document type from the list. Click on the Select button to browse to the file you wish to upload. Click Open to begin upload. Type in the comment field a description of the file you are uploading. To view a previously uploaded file, click on the View File button. Click Close to go back to the main page. You have now added a patient into the HealthConnect Pro system. This concludes the patient intake tutorial. Thank you for using HealthConnect Pro.